Hello guys and welcome to Survival Russia. Today we're going to look at this Saiga 12K. K stands for Karotka and uh, Karotka means short in Russian. Yeah, I'm working a little bit on the sides trying to dial it in. It's a little bit tricky on these uh, on the front post. So let's take a look at it before we're going to squeeze off a few rounds. So for the ones of you who don't know the Saiga, it's uh, basically just an AK shooting 12 gauge, you can get it in 20 gauge and 410 as well. Grips have been changed a little bit. This here is an 8 round mag, this is a 5 round mag. Safety, everything is the same as, uh, as an AK, even the sights here. Of course, 1000 meters sight is a little bit overrated, overestimated <laughs> for uh, for a 12 gauge, even for an AK, I will say, but uh, that's how it is. Comes apart like any AK. Even the bolt here. Just like an AK, just bigger. It's a little tricky at times. Not this time. To be able to collapse the stock. You have to engage the safety because this is less than 88 centimeters or 880 millimeters and according to Russian law then it's not supposed to be able to fire and as you can see you cannot do that. The Sega also comes with a choke for hunting and so on. For the moment you only have a standard flash suppressor muscle brake, whatever, you just screw it off, put this on, then you have like about a millimeter choke. So what we're gonna shoot, while working on the sides of course, we're gonna shoot some slugs, there's gonna be these ones here, Brenike, Emerald, they are Russian made, but uh, the slug itself is uh, German. They shoot pretty well, and I have these two cheaper ones, Gonna see if there's any difference on the impact, and so and so. So enough of the talking. Let's go and squeeze over a few rounds with this and uh, see what's going on with the sights. So here's the target we're gonna shoot at. Basically, just a big piece of channel plast. I made this uh, tripod to be able to shoot as accurately as I can, uh, and still in a kind of a field scenario you know as I say there's no need to bench rest this thing here really I even brought my driving glasses don't really need them but we'll take uh, two of these Braniki here they fly really nice target is down there 65 meters have to sun straight in the eye so uh, let's see how it goes okay let's go Funny how you can hear the slug going through the air. Here's the two first ones I shot off cam. And here's the two others, so traveling a little bit to the left. The elevation is quite alright. I think this must be the first one because I sort of squeezed that off a little bit prematurely. But uh, let's take two more rounds. Ah, this one was bad. That was a bad one. Okay, even the the last shot felt really weird. It's Seems alright. 
Next two is down here, identical to the first two, or a little bit to the left, so definitely printing left. Definitely have to do something about that, because I hold my sides straight up here. It's a good 15-18 centimeters to the left on 65 meters. That's not so good. Let's move out to uh, 83 meters or something and uh, see difference of impact and this and this and that. So uh, hang on. But first a shout out to a channel called How to Survive. It's my friend Stefan from uh, Germany who started an English speaking channel. Stefan is a very kind, nice guy and uh, he does some short tutorials of this and this and that. Some of it's quite unique. So make sure go and check out How to Survive. Link will be in the description and so on. These rounds are different ones. Last time when they shot them, they shot way, way higher. They're cheaper and I don't know. Look like this. So, the cheaper rounds on 83 meters definitely shoot funky. Well, they are more to the right, and uh, but the way is not so consistent as the Branica rounds I can see. But they print more right, but uh, nowhere near the grouping of the other ones. So check the links in the description to Facebook Survival Russia and uh, to the new blog on Survival Russia. There's uh, sometimes diff some things going on there which uh, doesn't make it to video. So uh, yeah, I can hear my wife and my daughter in the background. Get out and train, get it done. See you next time in Russia.